Talk to us, prophet. The full measure of the prophet. You know, talk, talk to us. What does that mean? Well, that means the utterance gifts. That means the power gifts. I really feel like what God is looking for are those that would be a voice, that would not just proclaim, but they have the substance and the, the reality of the kingdom that, that rests on them, and they're backing up the gospel with miracle signs and wonders. There's, there's an honor that God's bringing back to the mm, office of a yes, prophet. Yes. And I, I urged our church, and I, I told them, I said, although some prophets have misused, and manipulated and taken advantage and have fallen mm. still there's an honor to the yes. office and to the gift and we need to put it in the right place perspective absolutely and i hey guys this is ben lim with ben lim tv and ben lim global and today we have prophet jesse shamp with us i'm so glad that you're here today thanks for having me man so good you know i mean we, we've been trying to, uh, you know, get a hold of you and bring you down to some of our meetings here in L.A., Southern California for a while. But, it, you know, th it's been a little difficult. Yeah. But here you are now. Yeah, finally. here I am, man. Perfect and, timing. And, and there's something happening in L.A., Southern California, and California. I'm sure you can Absolutely. attest to this. You know, uh, as, as you are a prophet and a man of God, there's certain regions or states that you go to, you could feel something. Yeah. And this isn't your first time to California. Right. But I mean, right. what, what are you feeling? What are you sensing? You know, I mean, even as you keep returning to California, Southern California. Yeah, that's, um, <clears throat> that's, that's an awesome question, man, because we're here in Orange County. Yeah. And it's right where, you know, Lonnie Frisbee's ministry was birthed out yeah. of. We had the Jesus, uh, the Jesus People Movement, Power of God, just, uh, touching the youth and so what do I sense God doing I sense the moving of God's glory I sense the moving of God's spirit and God's raising up eagles out of California He's raising up prophets voices uh, men and women that's that's the hour that we're in right now as as God is restoring the mantle and the office of the prophet mm. and we're getting ready to see the full measure of the prophet mm. talk to us prophet the full measure of the prophet. You know, talk, talk to us, what does that mean? Well, that means the utterance gifts, that means the power gifts. I really feel like what God is looking for are those that would be a voice, that would not just proclaim, but they have the substance and the, the reality of the kingdom that, that rests on them, and they're backing up the gospel with miracle signs and wonders. So, I mean, we look in the Bible, we can see the prophet Elijah, Elijah and Elijah. Now, the prophet Elijah, he spoke the word of the Lord, but everything that he spoke was demonstrated. I see a cloud the size of a man's hand. Mm. I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. What he called forth came into the earth. Mm. But there was also a mantle that rested on him for notable, remarkable miracles, creative miracles, I believe that we're entering into that again. And I believe that God is mantling a generation with a mantle of miracles. It's, it's the office of the prophet. Uh, it's, it's a prophetic awakening that we're seeing in the body of Christ. But I believe that we're seeing many that are becoming a voice. They're gonna mm. rise up and become a voice with that mantle. Wow, that's so good. You know, I think uh, there's one thing, uh, you know, Jesus said, my, my sheep hear my voice. There's a voice in the wilderness yeah. from the throne room of God. Amen. There's thunders, lightnings, and voices. That's right. And, uh, you know, I really feel like in this day and age where there's so many echoes, even on yeah. social media and all these things, you know, God is really uh, shouting some things. It's yeah. very apparent. And, right. um, you know, again, there's, there's a true word of the Lord, which is always restorative, which mm -hmm. is always hopeful which is something that I appreciate about you and your ministry and many of our friends is that, you know, when we have a prophetic word, even for a region, a state, a nation, right. uh, that it's hopeful and it's restorative. Not, yes. yeah, it can yeah. be corrective. It can be rebuking. Mm -hmm. It must be many times, but it's restorative and it's hopeful. Absolutely. Um, you know, the Bible says that we prophesy according to our faith. And we can see in the Bible the prophet Ezekiel in the Valley of Dry Bones, mm. and God told him to prophesy the opposite of what he was seeing. Yeah. He said, call forth the wind. And as he began to prophesy life into the dead bones, there arose an exceeding great army. 
So the nature of God is to give us beauty for ashes. Mm. And I, I really feel like it's so important that what we prophesy, we're not prophesying out of the soul, but we're prophesying it's good. through the Spirit of God. It's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by my Spirit. Mm. And Jesus said that He could only do those things that He saw His Heavenly Father doing. So we have to see what the Father's will is for a region, for a nation, a city. And that was Jesus' ministry. He went out, He was boldly proclaiming the kingdom of God is at hand. And every city, every village that He entered into, there was a transformation. There were miracle signs and wonders that took place. So, you know, for the state of California, we don't need another negative thing said. Hmm. We don't need another um, hopeless word. We need, to, we need to impart life, hope. Yeah, come on. Wow, so good. You know, I, I think, you know, something you said earlier, you know, sons, see what the Father's doing. Yeah. Hear what he's saying. And, uh, you know, I mean, how, how do you see? And, and how do you hear? I mean, for, for those who are watching right now and saying, this, yeah. is, this is unusual. Yeah. I, I want to upgrade. I want to experience the spirit of wisdom, understanding. How, I want to understand this. Amen. You know, I mean, how, how, how do we partner with the spirit of God in that way, Jesse? Absolutely. I'd love to answer that because um, that's a really good question. You know, for me, the Lord will give me visions and dreams. And that's many times how I receive prophetic words for different regions or um, for individuals, the body of Christ. But, um, you know, what God is doing is He's raising up a prophetic company. And the Bible says in the last days that God will pour out His Spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters will mm -hmm. prophesy. Yeah, yeah. So it's not just about those that have the microphone that are called to be a prophet, but Come it's on. about a prophetic company. Mm -hmm. It's about the overshadowing of the glory of God coming upon the church. And it's about those that are being activated in hearing and seeing God's voice that are going to transform a region as we come together and we become one heart, one soul, and one sound, we're going to see nations taken for Jesus, regions, cities. That's the heart of the Father. Yeah. Come on, so good. You know, I think, Prophet, uh, one thing that's so unusual, and I'm get, getting this download right now, because even with the Israelites, when a family was a blacksmith, that trade was passed down. So wow. in the Levitical priesthood, it was only that family, that tribe, that you mm. know, that lineage that continued to be a priest, and nobody outside of the tribe of Levi. Wow. And I'm thinking about you. I mean, your brother Charlie, incredible, wonderful prophet, man of God. Amen. The Lord is extremely using him, and even your father. Yeah. It is as a prophet too. Yeah. So it seems like your family is a family of prophets, and yeah. that's just astounding to me that. You know, there's there's something so sacred there. Talk to us about that. I, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'd love to share this story with you. Yeah, because sure. You're talking about how our family, um, there's a lineage there, a mm -hmm. family of prophets. It was me and my dad and my brother, we were heading back from Indiana. And my dad said, today is the day God is going to show me that eagle. Mm. And we were like, okay, dad, today's the day God's going to show you this eagle. Yeah, you yeah. know, is this going to be like a real eagle that's going to come? Or is it going to be just something we're going to, you know, see in the spirit? Or what are you talking about? And he said, it's going to be a real eagle that comes. And it's going to be a prophetic sign for all three of our ministries that mm. God has called us as prophets. So we're driving down the road. And uh, we're in this tiny little geo. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, we're all crammed yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this eagle comes on the side of the road. I I'm not even kidding, prophet. It was, it was like five, ten feet away from the car. It turned its head. It looked at us. The glory of God filled the car. <laughs> and I mean, the fear of the Lord was on us. And it was a, it was a real sign of what God had marked our family with. Hmm. But you know, what I'm really excited about is others stepping into their calling and destiny. Just as God has called me, just as He's called you, God is calling others. And I feel like there's many prophets that they're like hidden in the cave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're in that place of transition, uh, in that place of the wilderness, but God is calling them out to be a voice. Because those that are watching, you've been put on the earth Come on. for such a time as this. It, it's your hour, it's your time. God decided to put you on this earth at this time, at this hour, because this is the will of God. 
and I'm, I'm speaking to you prophetically, Come on. this is the will of God that a generation would usher in a new sound, a new move, and we are on the verge of seeing another great awakening, and you're part of that generation. I'm, I'm part of that generation. Mm. Ben, you're part of that generation. And that, that's the sound that God is releasing. It's the sound mm. of outpouring. It's the sound of awakening. Come on. It's the sound Some of, of revival. Sound. It's the sound of a mighty rushing wind. Come on. The sound of the abundance of rain Come on. that's coming on the earth. Hallelujah. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. I, feel, I feel the glory here yeah. so strong. Yeah, it's here. It's here, Prophet. And, uh, you know, again, uh, we've known of each other. We've tried to connect a number of times. But, I mean, you're here, and there's, there's almost like an instantaneous synergy. And, and wow. I, yeah. I may be just speaking for myself. I mean, we meet hundreds, thousands of people, maybe, you know, on a monthly wow. basis. Wow. But there, there's like a synergy. It's almost like you know them by the Spirit. Yeah, that's right. And and, and I think it's happening more quickly and yeah. more genuinely right yeah. now. Amen. Yeah. And there's something so powerful, too, about us coming together. Because, you know, the Bible talks about how the anointing is in the cluster. Yeah, yeah. And we each have a different flavor. But when we come together, we build that corporate anointing. And there's even more of, a, of an impact. There's even more of an anointing that goes forth. And so I, I really believe that what we're getting ready to enter into as far as the body of Christ is the the, the greatest anointing mm. which is the corporate anointing mm. it's not just the anointing that's on me or on you but collectively we come together mm. and we release that sound and the glory of God is making an impact in a region in the city it's so important that we, we join together in unity um, you know the Bible says that the oil comes down off of the beard that God blesses mm. unity Psalms 133 so I'm excited to be here with you, man, because um, I sense the power of God just so strong. You and us just doing this interview right now, yeah. the glory of God is here. Come and on. it's on a higher level mm. because we're joined together in the mm. Spirit. Mm. And, you know, I think you said something so key, Prophet. Again, it's about uh, the right people. Uh, I remember yeah. uh, talking to my friend David Herzog, and, you know, he says, you know, when you bring the wrong people, in a sense, in a meeting, then... You, you know, you, you have an atmosphere so high or faith level and all of a sudden they tear it back down oh, yeah. and you have to build it back up. Yeah. And so many people are tired of lame conferences and events right. because God's not showing up because you're not bringing in the right people yeah. with the right heart. Yeah. And again, I'm not saying, Amen. you know, I mean, I pray that God will give me and us the right spirit and the right heart. I, I believe, you know, you do. Yeah. I believe we do. But, you know, I think there's something about being upright with God. So, therefore, He's going to bless and release yes. on the earth. But, again, it's synergizing and collaborating with the right people. You know, uh, different anointings, different, um, you know, streams, different, yeah. uh, you know, oils. When you begin to mix it together, then Absolutely. that is, you know, the oil, the bomb of Gilead. And, and God's Absolutely. doing it right now. Yes. And how, how important do you think that is? I think that's in incredibly <clears throat> important. Um, you know, like you were saying, uh, you know, you want to bring the right people in for conferences. And when you bring people that have a real mantle from God and we join together, we see incredible healings, miracles. I, yeah. I mean, I've done conferences with a lot of different people. Sure. And something that I've noticed is that I'm operating on the prophetic on a higher level, miracles yeah. on a higher level. Yeah. Yeah. When I join together with someone, when I join together with different ministry yeah. guests like yourself, uh, we just see that impartation go forth. We see the miracles, the signs, the wonders. Come on. So it's incredibly important. Yeah, yeah. I tell people, prophet, it's it's a compounding effect, or a word <clears throat> God's given us recently is the quantum leap, wow. where things go into exponential. Wow. It's not just additional but mm. exponential Come on. because there's a quantum leap in the spirit. Amen. And so it's a compounding, you know, uh, so I, I'm real excited. I, yeah, I, go I ahead. think there's a standard too. Yeah. You know, like you were saying, um, we're going after the real thing. Mm -hmm. We want the power of God. We want miracles. We want the substance. We want the evidence of the gospel. And I believe we're returning in many ways <clears> to, yeah, come on. to the, to that foundation of simplicity. It's good. Um, you know, I was, I was just in Modesto, and I was in this meeting, I called out a word for um, vertigo. So there's somebody, you got vertigo. I felt the word of knowledge. And this woman came, 
prayed for, the power of God hit her. She said for the first time in years, she woke up without any dizziness, without any headache. She's totally healed. And so that's that's the standard. You yeah. know, the standard is real substance and evidence. The standard is that miracle signs and wonders follow the preaching of the gospel. Yeah. Yeah. And that is part of the prophetic office, is that we see the power of the gospel, that we see the authentic, the authentic power, Come on. Yeah. the raw power of the Holy Spirit. It's not just yeah. prophecy. Yeah. It's about seeing it's about seeing the power of God heal people's bodies, creative miracles, mm -hmm. remarkable miracles. And I know that you see that in your ministry as well. Mm -hmm. But there's signs that point to the prophetic office, yeah. the office of the prophet. There's signs that point to that office. And the more that we begin to recognize the mantle of the prophet that rests on those in this generation, yeah. the more we're going to see our cities impacted, the more that we're going to see our congregations impacted. I'm excited, man. We're, we're in, ex in an exciting hour. Come on, absolutely. It's an exciting hour. You know, even this Sunday, uh, Prophet, uh, at our home church in L.A., you know, I, I gave a real heart-wrenching word. You know, Jessica was there. Many others were there. And a number of people came up to me saying, wow, that word is still resonating with me, which is honoring wow. prophets and prophetic voices and mothers and fathers. And how even yes. in the American culture, you know, in the South, it's different from us here in L.A., West Coast, but in general, in America, you know, there's there's kind of this attitude of like, you know, like, you know, who are you, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's, even in L.A. and in the West Coast, you know, we're a little bit different than the South, yeah, you know. Yeah. But even even the Bible-believing Belt South, you know, can have a, <laughs> a, their own issues and things. But, you know, God's doing it. But there's, there's an honor that God's bringing back to the mm -hmm. office of a yes. prophet. Yes. And I, I urged our church and I, I told them, I said, although some prophets have misused, and manipulated and taken advantage and have fallen mm. still there's an honor to the yes. office and to the gift and we need to put it in the right place perspective absolutely and i i I, I confirm god is bringing a holy reverence fear yeah. honor back to the office because the absolutely. genuine is being manifested in this season more than ever before right right and and how important are mothers and fathers because there's a rubbing off of the anointing there's something that gets on them that gets on me yeah and um, that's how we're activated in our callings and destinies. We need those that release the power of impartation to establish us. You know, Paul said, I long to be with you that I may impart unto you a mm -hmm. spiritual gift that you may be established. Mm -hmm. So we need these prophets in the earth to help people be established in their destiny. Because all it takes is one impartation to unlock destiny in you. Yeah. One impartation to bring you fully into your calling. So I'm always in the line, man. I'm always wanting yeah, yeah. impartation. That's that's how I started. I just I just got as many impartations as I could because yeah, yeah. It, it carried me and it brought an acceleration, and destiny doors began to open. Well, so we so need good. prophets. Yeah. yeah, they release the ministry of impartation. Let, let me ask you, prophet, because I, you know, uh, you and I, you know, we're we're a little bit younger than you know some some of the. Uh, some other people, which is, yeah. you know, and of course the Lord is going to continue to carry us so that the fulfillment of our ministries have a long lasting fruit. Yes. Amen. But, uh, you know, I mean, have, have you ever come into a meeting and atmosphere and you feel dishonored? Maybe because of the age thing or, or different things or, you know, and you yes. feel dishonored. And how did you deal with that? You know, I have had that happen. I have had that happen. Um, I think we all do and we all will. Every person yeah. that's going to step into ministry is going to experience that. But what you have to know is that where God sends you and where you're received, that's where, that's where you see heaven manifest. That's where you see the blessing. So that's why it's so important that we honor. We honor one another. We honor ministry gifts because there is a blessing that comes from that. You know, the Bible says you receive a prophet in the name of a prophet, mm -hmm. you receive a prophet's reward. So if I receive you as a prophet, I could receive a prophetic word, or it could be a miracle, or it could be a financial blessing, or it could be, you know, deliverance, because that's what the prophet moves in. So we have to understand that when we honor the vessel, there is something that is released on us as we bless and as we honor that individual and we 
we just treat them with respect. You know, really when the Bible says when you receive a prophet in the name of a prophet, you receive a prophet's reward, mm -hmm. it means to warmly embrace someone. Mm -hmm. So that means I have to be open to receive what that vessel is carrying, That's what good. that vessel is releasing. And if I can if I can bless them, if I can honor them, then that same anointing will be on my life and will bless me. That's good. Yeah. You know, that's that's a that's a key there. That's a very powerful key. That's good. And I just got a revelation as you were talking. Because you know that's what happens when we talk revelation sparks, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh in the name of a prophet, which means that person's name comes on you. Wow. Which means that that mm. name, you know, in the name of Jesus. You yeah. know, so it's that name that. that actually comes upon you ah. and you get branded. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Something Ed Dufresne said, uh -huh. Dr. Ed Dufresne said, you're not known by your title. You're known by the anointing. Okay. You're yeah. known by the mantle. Uh -huh. So good. what we need to be looking for yeah. is the mantle. Yeah, amen. Yeah. We need to be looking for the substance and evidence. And unfortunately, so many people have big names, right. big titles. Right. They're popular. Yeah. But there's, you know, what are they carrying? And, right. you know, I don't want to be one of those people. You know, I want to carry something genuine. Amen. That's why our greatest responsibility is to be a friend of God. Yes. And to be on our face yes. and to pray Amen. and to carry the presence rather than carrying the cares and the burdens of the world and right. all this other carnal stuff. Right. You know, right. I mean, we, we got to continue to walk in purity. Jesse, right. uh, before we close, I mean, this, this has been so uh, wonderful. It's just, you know, we're just flown right now, so it's wonderful. I mean, what... You know, what what are you excited for in this season? Like, what, what are you feeling in this season? You know, many people watching now, even on the replay, you know, I mean, even though this is a now word, you know, what are you, what are you excited for in this season? Uh, you know, I mean, if, yeah, yeah, for yourself, for your ministry, everything that you're experiencing, but just even on a global scale. What what I'm excited for is that um, we're, we're, we're in a prophetic awakening in the body of Christ. And what's on my heart, which is very strong in this season, is training and equipping. Training, training and equipping others to hear God's voice, to see in the Spirit, how to move in the power of God, the healing power of Jesus. Um, because it's not just about a few that God wants to use. He wants to raise up a generation. And I believe that this generation will look like Enoch they'll be wrapped in the mantle of the Lord, the presence of God. Mm -hmm. And that is what God is doing in the earth. He's, call, he's causing the generation to come upon, uh, causing the glory of God to come upon a generation to accelerate them and, and um, advance them into their destinies and callings. Come on, so good. Prophet, it's been an honor having you. Yes. Uh, this has been a, a wonderful conversation. Uh, I tell people all the time, whenever I do interviews, I'm just asking you questions that is coming for myself yes. personally. So this, Amen. I'm drinking, I'm receiving. I'm sure so many of our viewers are as well. But before you close us off in a prayer of impartation, I mean, how can people find you, follow you, and support your ministry? Uh, yes, you can go to kingdomcultureinternational.com. Uh, that's my wife and I's ministry, our website. So um, I tell you what, man, let's, let's pray yeah. impartation over every person watching right now. Father, we just thank you for every person watching. Every person watching this live Dang. broadcast, we lose the power of God upon Fire. you, the power of God into your home. We speak impartation upon you right now into your spirit. And I pray that God would raise you up and use you. As the Father has sent me, so have I sent you. And God sends you with the power. He sends you with the anointing. So, Father, I thank you for those that are watching this broadcast, Father. Even those that need uh, healing in their bodies. Yeah. We, we loose the healing anointing right now. We pray healing, virtue, flow in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' Come mighty on. name. In Jesus' mighty name. Mm. Yeah, I, I really sense right now uh, there, there was something that was hitting or triggering. Uh, about you know the honor back to the office of the prophet and and although so many people maybe you had a ministry you had somebody that you loved you looked up to and mm -hmm. something happened but the lord is restoring double honor yes back to the prophet and to the prophetic gifts and voices and to all the gifts to all the mantles so i really feel like many many people watching have been jaded hurt yeah. whatever church hurt hashtag that's mm -hmm. done with we're hashtagging yeah. church whole 
But I feel right now, Prophet, that the Lord, the Lord spoke this to me this morning, said, a true prophet doesn't only release the mind of God, but the heart of God. Wow. And, you know, there, there's something I know that you and your brother, your family, carry about the heart. Wow. And I, I just want you to I just stretch your hand and release yeah. the healing virtue of the Father's yes. heart to all yeah. those who have been jaded yes. of the prophetic, yeah. charismatic church world. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. So, Lord, we thank you right now for healing hearts. Lord, I thank you burning up bitterness. Come on. I, I loose the balm of Gilead, healing for the soul. Lord, we thank you that uh, you're touching hearts right now. You're, you're, you're breaking us free from offense. <laughs> you're breaking us free from, from bitterness, Lord. You're breaking us out into a new season. Come on. I just speak a new season over you right now. I speak freedom over your spirit, freedom over your soul, Shabbat in the Allah. mighty name of Jesus. Lord, heal every person's heart. Heal every person's heart, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Lord, that the eagles are being released, that it's time for you to soar, 2020 yes. vision. Shabbat. When the lions roar, the eagles will soar. Jesus. And the Lord is releasing the faces of God and you will soar into your destiny. Those who wait upon the Lord, they will soar. They will run and not grow faint. They will walk and not grow tired. And that is for you, all of those who have been waiting upon him faithfully, enduring through the midnight hour. He's mantling you with the winds of change. Mm. With the winds, you will rise, which are the winds of angels. Hmm. And you're ascending in Jesus' name into your destiny, 2020 and beyond. In Jesus' name, Jesus. amen. Thank you, Lord. Prophet Jesse, it's been an honor. Yes, thank uh, you. We Bradley. love you. And love you, uh, we're so glad you're here. And uh, we love the whole Sham family. And uh, hopefully next time we'll see your wonderful wife, prophetess, revivalist, Amy Sham as well. Yes, that'd be awesome. Yeah, so good. Guys, this has been incredible time interview hopefully you're receiving you enjoyed do let us know comment like subscribe what did you enjoy most from this time guys this is ben lim with prophet jesse champ and we're so glad you're here and may you continue to soar into your destiny bless you